Good morning, everyone. We're getting the boys up. Here's Mike. Just gotta wake wake this guy up over here. Time to get up, bro. Don't for me, G. We're gonna. Uh, you guys are gonna work on those shoots. You and Mike, and I'm gonna go do some bucketing. All right, we are back in the office. Gonna be bucketing some snow this morning. Getting ready for this storm, 18 plus inches today. Uh, I gotta get some piles pushed back. Here's a big one right here. Well, this was that truck we looked at last night. <laughs> Looks like he still hasn't got it quite out yet. So I'll try to help. Maybe I can use my bucket to uh, get some of that off the top. That thing's about squash. That's a three quarter ton truck and it's about squash with all that weight. So uh, definitely gotta, we gotta get that snow off there and get that thing moved. Plus it's a super tight spot right here. I'm gonna push this all back, see what we can do and we'll go from there. Got that one pushed back. So we got a lot of storage out, kinda past that. I can just keep pushing that pile for, for days, so that was good to get, get this opened up. Now I can just run snow right up this ramp and just keep dumping it off the end. So now we're gonna go next door over here and do the same thing. Now yeah, this loader is definitely keeping me on my toes. So now I got this, this going on. I mean, it's, this snow business, it's always something. So now I gotta go back to the house, see if I can figure out what, what that light is. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. It seems like the alternator's not charging or I might actually lost my belt or something, but we're gonna check something real quick and then see if we can't figure it out. As luck would have it, get that belt off. I don't know what happened, if that alternator froze up or what. See if you can turn that alternator right here, pull that lever right there, and then just flip that down. And see if that alternator's locked up, just turn it with your hand. No? Well, what the hell? How about that pulley? How about that pulley right there? Well, I wonder what caused that belt, caused it to throw that belt. It's a brand new belt. I just put this belt on. It seems like it's kind of binding up a little. Still, we, uh, I don't know if it's that we rebuilt, but. Is this the one we redid? Yeah. So you can see the teeth. They still look pretty good. They're not the best, but uh, we're gonna put grease underneath. <laughs> more freely and we won't have to deal with it. But All right, so they broke this. We can go get off the shaft, so we're gonna heat it best we can. See if we can't bend, give it some bend and get her bent back into shape. fixing something around here, that's for sure. <laughs> I 
Yeah, you know, they thought I... Yeah. Pretty much seems like every day we're doing like open heart surgery on these machines to keep them going. This one here, he had a, <laughs> he hit something and bent the shit out of that. So we just got that welded all back together. And then we noticed on this one over here, he literally broke the shit out of that one too. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to pull that bar, that piece, he's gonna cut that off see if we can beat it flat and get it reattached and I think if everything works out we might have it up and running uh, about an hour before it really starts snowing We're okay we got we're gonna get our hydraulics plugged back in we just got this uh, Got the old uh, auger basically bent back into shape. Lock this thing in real quick. We'll check the pins, make sure it's it's logged in, locked in. Like that. I, don't, I don't ever use my auto leveler on these. Um, a lot of guys do. I don't. I like to pretty much adjust per whatever the terrain that I'm on. So we're gonna. Ooh! guy over here hooking his hydraulics up of course he stuck the looks like you got the electrical plug in the snow it's always a good thing all right we're gonna uh let's see how this thing turns they greased it so i'm gonna fire it up seems to turn real nicely I like that all right I think this one's gonna be ready for the storm when you wake up and want to go on the back porch I don't know if I'm glad to be in the snow removal business or not, but we haven't got a whole lot of sleep the last week or so, that's for sure. And it's not letting up, people. It's it's not gonna let up anytime soon. A little perspective for you. I'm opening up this parking lot right here so that they get out if they even want to get out I don't even think anybody wants to get out but I mean we're talking like four or five foot high wall on either side just cut down through here and full on this is going to be full on chaos later on today when everybody wants to try to get out just complete 
complete chaos. No more room for snow. I'm running out of storage. I don't know what we're gonna do for storage. We've got to truck some snow, but we don't even have the ability to do that right now. It's just insanity. Now the wind's kicked up. So it's blowing it everywhere. Good times. 